In this video, I'm going to go over the process of creating a shortcut on a Mac to open an Amcrest IP camera. And a prerequisite of this is having the FFmpeg software installed. So I'll put a link in the description to a video I made on installing Mac ports. And towards the end of the video, I talk about installing FFmpeg on a Mac. So once you have that installed, you'll need to find out the IP address of your camera. So in order to do that, we'll go to the Amcrest website and download their uh, IP config software. So we'll go to amcrest.com, we'll go to support, apps and software, and then we'll click IP config software, and then we'll download that. And we'll open it, that should unzip it. We can double click on Amcrest IP config. I'll have to say I want to open it. And it should list out our Amcrest uh, cameras. So I have two here on my network and uh, I'll be going with this top, this top one here which is my front door camera. Uh, so we'll take note of the IP address 192.168.7.178. We'll make note of that and then you can close this application. We can close the uh, browser and everything else. Then I'll open up a terminal. I'll make this bigger. I'll zoom in on the size here. Okay. And uh, first thing I'll do is I'll go to my desktop. So I'll say CD space desktop. And then I'll make a folder called uh, netcam. So I'll say mkdir space netcam. And I'll drag this camera to my dock as a folder here and then we'll type go back to our terminal type CD space netcam so we're inside of that I'll type ls there's nothing in it then I'll type nano space front door dot command and I'll hit enter and now we'll uh, create a little script here. We'll type uh, pound sign exclamation point forward slash bin forward slash bash. We'll hit enter. And then we'll type in FF play space quote RTSP colon forward slash forward slash. And then we'll type our username, which in my case is admin. Then we'll type colon and our password. So I'll type cam, which is my password, ampersand, and then we'll type that IP address in. So it's 192.168.7.178 in my case. Then I'll type colon and type 554, which is the port, forward slash cam, forward slash real monitor, question mark, channel equals one and subtype equals zero. Now we'll type another quote and a semicolon space exit semicolon and hit enter again. And now we'll type control O to write out. So I'll say write uh, name, file name to write, we'll say front door dot command and then we'll type control X to exit. Now I've tried this utilizing the uh, text edit software, the GUI software instead of nano, and it was changing my quotes and trying to uh, do spell check and everything like that. So I found it easier just to use nano since it didn't uh, uh, try and spell check my file. Uh, so now we're back on the terminal. We'll type in chmod space plus X and then front door dot command. We'll hit enter. Now we should be able to type period forward slash front door dot command. And if we typed everything right, we should see video of the uh, front door cam. From here, I'll hit F and that will make it full screen. We hit F again to toggle that so it's not. And then I'll hit escape and it will close it down. So I'll exit out of my terminal here. 
and we should be able to go to our network camera folder in the dock. Oh, this is a previous attempt. I'll get that out of there. So we have the netcam folder. We'll click it, and you'll see this uh, front door dot command shell. We'll just click that, and it opens up our camera. So now you have a very quick access to a camera. You could actually put the script right in the dock also. But if you have multiple cameras, you can create a folder. I tend to actually like to display this as a folder. So I'll click it, and then you can open up this camera. Uh, if you wanted this to open as a full screen right when you click it, you can do that. So I'll close this. Go back to my terminal. CD space desktop forward slash netcam. We'll see the front door uh, dot command files there. We'll type in nano front door dot command. And we'll go down here to FF play. And after that, we'll type space FS for full screen. And then we'll say control O to write that out. Control X to close. Now when we click on this, it will open up immediately to full screen. And now we have our full screen video here. So if you had uh, you know, 10 different cameras, you could create a file for each of these. You could duplicate that um, front door dot command file and create one of those for each of your cameras. And if you ever needed to uh, say you're watching for a package to arrive, which is a case where I've actually used this, uh, I can pull this camera up on my screen and then uh, just watch it. There is a delay uh, because the IP camera has a delay, but it's only a few seconds, and then you can watch your camera um, from your computer by just hitting a button. So you can also, um, you know, if we're not doing full screen, we can, uh, let me take full screen off here. You can open this up and then uh, shrink your window down here also. So you could leave this uh, up in your corner running while you're working on some, uh, you know, a spreadsheet or something. And then you have a view of your front door camera right there. So, well, if you found this video helpful, I would love if you could click the like there. And if you haven't already, uh, you could, I'd love if you could subscribe to my channel. I'll put a link in the description to some of my other Amcrest uh, camera videos. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.